welcome back to my channel my name is special nicole and here on my channel i give you videos on my micro locks makeup and some loving relationship things so all things related to womanhood so if that's your thing go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of my tribe and stay in tune when i do new things to my hair because i'm always doing something reckless and when i'm trying makeup or if my boyfriend's joining me for another episode of love and scribe I would love to have you here. All right, before we get into today's content, I just want to put the word out again that my merch has dropped. I am wearing the Black Girls Need Lux 2 sweatshirt. Um, if you're a black girl and you know you like luxury in your life, go ahead and copy one of these. I will, of course, always link them down below. I have many different options, but this is just what I'm wearing today. So. Go ahead and click that link, visit my blog, go ahead and make you a purchase, support your girl, let the world know that black girls need looks too. All right, moving on. So if you're looking at my hair, you can see that it is nicely, freshly crisp, retied, and all that. Three months ago, a whole three months ago, I had a video that I talked about how I felt about interlocking. So now it's time to revisit that, see how I'm feeling at almost seven months locked right interlocking is not that bad anymore i had to figure out what worked best for me and three months ago i was still i had only interlocked probably twice by that time now i've had many other rounds in and it's not that bad you only have to do it once every month and a half two months and the results are just always they're worth it in the end so today I'm going to show you how I'm interlocking my hair now, what tools I'm using, and then I'll drop a few tips that kind of helped me along the way and will help you if you haven't started your lock journey or if you have already started your lock journey and you are interlocking. So pros of interlocking is you don't need a lot of products or equipment, tools, or whatever you want to call it. Like it's easy as just using water few little clips and then whatever your lock tools are so right now I have switched lock tools a couple of times I've been back and forth but I'll share with you my main two that I've been using so I have this lion locks tool that's what I started out with so this is what I have began my lock journey with what I was using in that last interlocking video then I have this tool I don't know the name but I was using this, I mentioned it a couple videos ago, how I had changed lock, locking tools, interlocking tools. So these have been my main two, but let's talk about the difference between them and which one I like better. So first let's look at the size and shape. So the Lion Lock tool is a lot smaller than this, it says j -Mail. This J Mail tool. And I mentioned before how it's more flat and horizontal versus the Lion Locks tool, which is straight up and down. So, which one I like best? I like the Lion Lock tool the best. So, that's this one. A couple videos ago, when I first tried this J Mail tool, I thought I liked it better, but when I did my retie this past couple of days, I didn't like how this was working. Um, it's actually proven to be a little too big for my locks and just um, a lot harder for me to navigate because my parts are so small that I can't get this around to actually get and to stay in one lock. Like it's just too big to control. So that's one key to helping you with your lock interlocking journey is finding a tool that works best for you. I used this tool this past couple of days and it was a perfect size, it's small. I didn't appreciate it before, obviously. Um, small, I can get to all of my locks easily without having to worry about picking up additional locks or a lock falling out or anything like that. So during this interlocking session, I had to combine some locks. So I'm going to share some tips on that and I'm also going to demonstrate it because I have some more. I saved a section for y'all of locks that have not been into lock yet so I can demonstrate using both tools 
and show you how I combined some of my logs. I don't know if there is it's possible to prevent having to combine logs because you never know what's going to happen on your log journey. But I do know some things that will be helpful will be making sure that your parts, when you're parting your locks, if you're just starting your lock journey, are squares. Like you have good squares, like the base is a square versus me, I had some where it was more of a rectangle or it was just uh like this, the ones I'm gonna show you. Here, you see it's like, it's just really small. So you want to make sure that the base is smaller. The ones that I had that are nice, squares they're so much easier to interlock than the ones that the parting was a little off and it's like the dimensions weren't equal all the way around another tip i'll share for trying to reduce your risk of having two combined locks would be not going so long in between interlocking i have been stretching my interlocking sessions out just for laziness and not wanting to do anything with my hair it's a recurring theme if you're new here that is what happens. I don't want to do my hair. So I will go like, I think this last time I went eight weeks. I will probably try not to go that long again, but I tend to push it past the six week mark because I just, I forget and I just don't want to do my hair. I mean, I'm being honest, I don't want to do it. I don't. So I will say try to maintain a good lock uh, routine, a schedule, four to six weeks. Try to stick within that four to six weeks so you don't have to risk having your lock your hair growing out of the lock because that's something that i have definitely been uh experiencing i feel like with the ones that i did have to combine it's just been so long so the hair is just not growing into the lock and causing it to feel like it's thinning so just try to maintain the schedule so the pros to interlocking go on and on and on like you can wash your hair immediately i wash my hair today and i finished interlocking yesterday and you can see it still looks bomb no problems there i don't have to worry about maintenance again for four weeks or a month like having to do your hair once a month or once every six weeks that's definitely a pro um and yeah it goes on and on and on so the pros definitely outweigh the cons when it comes to interlocking but let me demonstrate using these tools and show you how I combined a few of my locks. And then maybe in the future, I'll do a little lock count video for y'all since I've never done one. So we can kind of figure out exactly how many locks I have because I don't really know. I just have a guesstimate. All right, I'm gonna get closer just to be close to you, girl. All right, so this is a little section I'm gonna be working with. I'm going to section off my hair so others areas don't get in the way. Oh, another tip for trying to help you make sure you have those nice square parts. Something I didn't do when I was starting my grid, I parted, I will work from the bottom of the section up. I would say work around the perimeter first and then work your way in. So then you can go ahead and get that nice base set because the perimeter set so you know what to start with so i would say like if i wanted to do this section i will start here because i'll find that usually the areas near the end of a grid or a section are smaller than what's in the middle so i will i would suggest doing this row first doing this row doing the bottom and then doing the outer edge so you frame out that rectangle or that square and then that helps you to build the rest of the section up quick tip some I wish I would have did okay we are going to start with the locks that I want to combine and I'm going to pin away the wrist so these little clips here come in handy so I want to do these two because as you can see I don't even know how they got to be so small but they are tiny like and you can see the base, especially this one, is definitely not a strong, sturdy base. So I'm gonna make sure my part is straight. So I'm gonna take some water. Also, I use a little rat tail comb and just trying to ouch. 
So, got the part clean. I'm gonna clip that away. So now all I'm gonna do is twist these two together. This is definitely a better size micro lock, kind of matches the rest of my hair. Even though the base is still more of a rectangle than the square, I still feel like it'll be better than having them remain separate. So for this one, I am going to use the lion lock tool. So that's a smaller one. So I'm gonna thread my hair through. Um, I'm also still using four point rotation. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here, but I am consider considering changing to two point rotation and I'll tell you why. Well, in a second. So using the four point rotation, I am going to start at the rear, take this through both bases of both locks and bring it towards the front, towards my face. Then I'm going to go under the locks, bring it up. I'm gonna start at my face, take it back towards the back of my head. And then I'm going to bring it down in the center. And then I think I have room to do like two more passes. So this is why I have been thinking about changing to the two point rotation because I am not skilled at figuring out where I ended my rotations. And if you're familiar with interlocking, you know that you don't want to go through the same direction twice. So since I'm not skilled at understanding where I finished a rotation when I go to redo my reties months later. I end up starting from the same space over and over again, which of course is probably going to end up with me having some holes and I have had some, but I fixed them. I'll do a video on that one day, but I try to always end my rotations going down. So in order to do that, being where I just said I only have room for like two more passes, I just started from going from the rear to the front so now I'm going to go and go down and in that way. Well, that's basically me doing a two point rotation instead of a full four point rotation. I don't know how, I'm basically mixing two rotations. So I don't really know how that's going to work with my lock journey. So I may as well try to be as consistent as possible and do either do a four point rotation and never get my hair fully tight or switch to a two point rotation. So. If you are interlocking and you have some tips on what I should do, uh, how to recognize when my, whatever my rotation, wherever my rotation ended so I can prevent holes, drop those down in the comments below because I'm learning along the way, but this is just what I've been doing right now. So I'm finished with this one and yeah, it's still room to go. Like it's not, I want y'all to see that it's not tight, like all this is still loose. So yeah, that's combined now. So now I have these three here that I need to retie, but I'm trying to have a side part. So I will be doing them kind of to lay to the side. Start with this one in the back, same thing, making sure the parts are as straight as I can get them. And that's literally just water with maybe like a little residue of some vitamin E oil, but mainly water. And I use the clips to help me not pick up a second lock or the lock with the combined locks on accident because that is a headache. So you see you have a good amount this is pretty much how much new growth I had for every, I don't know if y'all, I'm trying to, for every one, which is a lot, I can fit my finger thing. And I'm using the second tool to show y'all how it works. So same thing, I'm gonna thread the hair through. It works a little different. So, but I'm still doing the same way, except it's just gonna lay the opposite direction. So taking this, from the front to the back. And you can see, I wanna stop here just so y'all can see kind of how 
this hooks through horizontally versus the lion locks was a straight straight through this one curves through at an angle which can be convenient which i thought it was when i first used it but i changed my mind so we went from the back of my head to the front so now i am going to go from under because i want it to be a side part and lay to the left your right of my head so i'll go under pull it through i'm gonna go from the front of my head to the back pull through and then the top Ooh, the angle's weird and pull through so again i have room for like two more passes so i'll do the same thing on the front and then on the top and pull through and there we go so that is using the lion lock the not lion lock the what is this j mill like i said i'll link them down below so i'll do one more with that and i'll save the last one to show you the lion locks tool so i'm using the same tool again, the J-Mall, J-Mill, whatever it's called. Threading it through. And then same thing, got room for two more. I probably could go more, but I don't want them to be super tight. So I'm gonna just stick to the, the two. So combining this one, kind of like threw the grid off a little bit. And that's probably just cause it's like, coming more to the front than where it was but I'm sure that will all grow in and fill in as my new growth comes but my main tip is just take your time especially if you're just starting and you haven't even put your locks in and you're about to start parting so take your time doing that and then also once you once you are in the interlocking phase and you're doing your lock maintenance take your time doing that as well because you want to make sure you're having a good stable foundation for your locks to grow. Because what I'm noticing is as my locks progress and get thicker, that's when I start to start to notice differences in the bases. So um, just pay attention to that. Like I showed y'all these, my hair is changing. So it's changing in the texture, changing in its weight um, as far as twist versus, um, I really just spit. Twist versus now with the extra frizziness and swelling and the, the lock is developing and the budding is a lot different so um i would say take your time when you are going through your parting phases and when you're interlocking and just enjoy the journey so i don't feel as bad about it anymore it doesn't take me as long it still takes me probably at least 12 hours and that's stopping and starting but it's not a period of days anymore unless i just want it to be a period of days but I usually am able to do it in one sitting. So yeah, drop your thoughts down in the comments, drop any tips, and I'll meet you there. Of course, I always love to chit chat with y'all down below. So please talk to me, share with your friends, comment, like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.